Hello. It's a new week and I'm doing a new reading vlog. Hello friends, I'm Rosa. Welcome. So, it's another week. I wanted to do a reading vlog this week because I was supposed to do something this weekend, but I won't have time to go. So, I thought I would keep myself company by talking to you <laughs> instead. <laughs> yes, that's what we're doing. And also because I am reading Throne of Glass or specifically Empire of Storms. I am so close to being done with this. I have like 140 pages left. Then I'm gonna go straight into Tower of Dawn and hopefully before the week is over, I'll be partly into Kingdom of Ash. So I'm just so excited. Okay, I'm so excited, trust me. When I first read Throne of Glass, I read the first four books back in 2016 and I'd ordered this one, pre-ordered this one because it came out in September 2016, but when I received it, I didn't really have a lot of time to read. So I never got around to finishing the series and it's just been like hanging over my head for almost six years, <laughs> five and a half years. So it was about time because when I tell you that I love this series, this is basically, this and Mortal Instruments is basically what got me into fantasy reading. It has a very special place in my heart obviously. I love the characters. I just love the story. It is such a good introduction into fantasy reading as well because it's just, it eases you into it. So I just love this series so much and <laughs> I'm so happy to be actually finishing it now. So I thought what other way to kind of, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I want to bring you guys along. <laughs> what other way to celebrate that than doing a reading vlog? I don't know, but other than that, I'm really not doing much this week. <laughs> so this is going to be all about Throne of Glass just so you know. Yeah, but I'm so excited. Ignore these. Okay, these don't matter. I'm gonna cut them down after I finished reading the book. It's just my tabs are a little bit funky and these ones I use on paperbacks and then just cut them down because it's a lot easier to cut them down with scissors on paperbacks than it, than it is with hardbacks. So they'll be very, very tiny. I can show you an example because I did it with Queen of Shadows. So this is what it's gonna look like. Trust the... Can you see how much I love this series? Like, can you see that? That's a lot, that's a lot of tabbing, but I love this series. I just wanna, just to reiterate, I love this series so much. But other than that, it's Monday today. So happy Monday, folks. It's the 21st. I've been hanging out with my mom. We went to a bookstore. I had to do some, she's, it's her birthday on Friday. So I'm kind of like, trying to figure out what she wants for her birthday. I think she wants Stephen Fry books and also an Edgar Allan Poe collection book. And other than that, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna get those for her, but I'm gonna have to do some coordinating with my brother regarding those presents. And we went to a baker as well, just to get some breakfast. I've been helping her shopping because she can't drive currently, so I have her car. It's a whole thing, but it's all fine. But that's basically what my day has been, just driving back and forth and having breakfast and snooping in on what she's looking at at the store <laughs> so yeah but it's like it's currently a little bit past or it's almost 8 p.m and i have to stream so i actually just wanted to get this this vlog started we'll see how much i get to film in between reading as well not that i'll film myself reading a lot but you know what i mean maybe i don't know maybe you don't know what i mean but i just wanted to get it started because I'm reading Throne of Glass and I want to celebrate it with you, okay? That's what this is about. I want to celebrate this with you. So I do know I have a pretty exciting package coming here on Wednesday, including a highly anticipated book of mine. So we'll be celebrating that too when it gets here. But if you don't know Throne of Glass, by the way, I should probably just before I finish this little clip, I'm just gonna tell you what this is, just in case you don't know, because I'm literally just assuming that everybody knows Throne of Glass, which is dumb, but don't make those assumptions. But we follow a girl, an assassin, the best assassin in the world, whose name is Selina. She has been enslaved in the salt mines that is in this world. It's a place where prisoners are sent basically just to die, but she's been there for almost a year. When the prince, the crown prince, and his guard turns up one day and are like, you know, the king, well, he's thrown this kind of tournament to see who's gonna win and the winner gets to become the king's champion. So you get to do jobs for him and such. And I need you, the crown princess to Selina, I need you to be my champion. And Selina hates him, but she says yes, because she wants out of those salt mines, obviously. So that's what the first book is about. But there's a lot of secrets, like a lot of secrets 
the story continues to take turns all the time and it's just amazing and <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> anyway, but I'm gonna talk a little bit more about like the story, the series as a whole in my reading wrap up which will be up at the start of March. So I'm not gonna go too into detail. <sighs> it's just where we're at. It doesn't... If you know Sarah J Maas, Throne of Glass was her first book and her writing just improves so much throughout the series. It's ridiculous. So the story just evolves so much and it's just... it's great. Anyway, I'm gonna stop ranting about Throne of Glass now because I really gotta get started with my... <laughs> with my stream. Because I have a house to finish and it's a rather big house. So I'll talk to you later at some point. Either later today or tomorrow. I don't know, probably tomorrow when I finished Empire Storms and I'll have another busy day with a deadline as well. So, you know, that's just how life is right now. But I'll talk to you later, yes. It's Tuesday the 22nd of February 2022. I don't know, that's the whole thing, but anyway. I wanted to give an update on reading because I actually finished Empire of Storms yesterday, like I said I would. So we're not really surprised. I was very focused, aiming to finish this. <laughs> and I'm so happy, like I'm just gonna say this because I actually bought this. I don't know if I said it in yesterday's clip, but I actually bought it in 2016. I pre-ordered it, so it arrived in September 2016, shortly after it was released. And it both sucked that I didn't have time to read it when I finally finally received it, but also having read it now, I'm so happy that I didn't read it in 2016. No spoilers whatsoever, no spoilers, but I cannot imagine having to wait for two whole years before Kingdom of Ash came out to know what happens after this one because the way that this ended for the last like 50 pages or so I had to take breaks to breathe because I was like I'm gonna get crushed <laughs> I'm getting crushed my chest hurt still no spoilers it's just it's a lot there's a lot going on at the end of this like a whole lot so I'm so happy that I both have Tower of Dawn waiting for me now but also Kingdom of Ash when I'm done with this one. I'm gonna have a hard time with this one, I feel. But that's because I really don't like Kale as a character. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one. He's probably the least appealing character to me in this whole universe. And this is his book. I hope it kind of gives him like a redemption arc. Not that he's whatever, but okay. This is also no spoiler, no spoiler, but literally on page two, and I found this so funny. I was yelling at my book, but I'll get to that in a second. On page two, it says, He'd initially wanted to wear black simply because color, dud dud dud. He never felt comfortable with colors save the red and gold of his kingdom. And I just yelled at my book like, Kale, have some fun! <laughs> just have some fun for once! That's Kale. Kale is the color beige. He's gray embodied in a fictional character, whatever. I just, not like morally gray by the way, but like the color gray. He's just, he's not fun. <laughs> He's not fun at all. I will give him some credit for his uh, whole transformation throughout this series, but Kale, come on Kale. So I'm gonna have a bit of a time with this one I feel, but I have read other people on Goodreads that also do not like Kale that actually ended up enjoying this anyway. So plus it's Sarah J Maas, like it can't go wrong, right? Okay, but I'm a little bit nervous. I'm just a little bit nervous because it's still 660 pages until I can get to Kingdom of Ash. But also, I'm pretty sure that some of the stuff that happens in this one is going to be important for Kingdom of Ash. So I need to, I need to read it. It's also the, it's like, it's an official book in the series. I need to read it. I can't just get past it. But still, just a little bit nervous. Kale is just not my cup of tea. I only read the first chapter because I went to bed so late yesterday. I, so late and... Also got woken up after six hours because people are drilling in the apartment. I don't know. It's fine though, it's fine. So today it's, I think it's close to being 9 p.m. I still have to finish up a video that I need to send in for a sponsorship, so not done with that yet. Ooh, but one of the reasons that I'm kind of late with it, it took like 
one and a half hours, but I managed to get my hands on the Illumicrate, the Atlas 6 Special Edition, which is sold out now. It's sold out in pre-sale. I managed to get my hands on it, like, 15 minutes before it sold out. So that's great because I really wanted it. It's gorgeous. I'll show you. Hold on. Like, look at this beauty. I hope you can see it on the camera, but like those printed edges are... Can I zoom in? Look at those printed edges. They're crazy. Insane. And it has like holographic foiling on it as well. So I am so excited. I'm so happy that I actually got a copy. I was getting a little bit nervous because my pre-sale email wasn't <laughs> showing up. So, but I managed. I got it. Just notice as well, the difference in six years. <laughs> mm. Haven't really stored this one properly, but yeah. Anyway, just wanted to give you a reading update on Empire Storms. This was a solid five stars. Like, this was amazing. This was, if you've not, Throne of Glass, like, a psh. I'm gonna talk about it in my wrap up. I'm gonna convince everyone who hasn't read it to read it, even if this made my stomach hurt. But still, books that make you feel stuff, that means they're good, right? Even if it makes you feel miserable. Still, it means they're good. This one will probably make me feel miserable in a different way, but that's just because I don't like Kale, so we'll see. <laughs> but as for now, I gotta finish up this video so that I can actually get through that book, cause I just want to get it out of the way. I want to I want to move on to Kingdom of Ash right now. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. I might update you later. I don't know yet, but if not, then hello. I hope you're having a lovely or well, like, hmm, I hope you had a lovely 22nd of February 2022 because <laughs> you're not watching this today. So anyway, back to work I go. It is Wednesday today. I got my hair on my chin, please go away. <laughs> anyway, not the most interesting clip today, like not the most interesting update, but these past three days have mainly been about work anyway. So tomorrow though, I am going out to eat with my brother and my mom. So I'll bring you guys along for that. Maybe the footage will be a little bit more interesting than <laughs> just me sitting in my office and doing stuff. I did take most of today off and also Tried to work a little bit on my bullet journal. I don't have a theme for next month because I don't really, I don't, I haven't had that spark of inspiration hit. So I was thinking about doing something with the daisies, but I don't really, I don't really know. So, so far I'm just sketching. I'm not drawing anything, like anything I can't erase, but I thought maybe it would be chilly. Not chilly. What's the, that means something else. That means cold. <laughs> I thought it would be relaxing at least, maybe like a little bit to see me sketch just like a tiny bit. But before I get started with my stream today, I did want to do a reading update because I have like, I've mainly been reading today. So <laughs> I have like 240 pages left of Tower of Dawn. And okay, Kale is still not my favorite character. I want to preface this by saying that he's still not my favorite character. Do I fully dislike him now? No, I understand him better. I do like the book. I just feel like there are certain parts of it that are maybe a little bit slow compared to some of the other books. And it's also because, don't worry, we're not talking spoilers by the way, but there's, how do you say this in a non-spoilery 
way. One of the characters in this series is really good at making plans that are suddenly revealed and you're like, what? Why didn't I see that coming? And I'm just not getting that from this book, so far at least. So, but I am enjoying it. It's still Miss Mass, so I'm still enjoying it. <laughs> we have a lot of tension going on right now and that is very pleasant to read about. <laughs> but um, it's definitely nice understanding Kale a little bit better. I was honestly scared that I was gonna have to fight my way through this book because I have just not liked him as a character. So yeah, that wasn't spoilery, was it? No, I'm just stating my opinion on a book character. <laughs> but I am liking the other characters. Although, I mean, there are some very dislikable characters in this, in this book. Like, very <laughs> conniving people and schemy people and backstabby people. So maybe they're just putting Kale in a good light. And that's why, that's why I'm seeing him differently now. I don't really know. Anyway, but yeah, so, so far so good. I hope I can finish this today, but 240 pages after midnight is a little bit optimistic, I would say, so probably not. So we'll see, but I'm gonna go have maybe like a three hour stream now, and then it's reading time, relaxing time, and Tower of Dawn time. So yes. Tomorrow though, gonna go out to eat gonna read as well, work in the evening, but that's fine. So I will bring you guys along for that tomorrow. Yes. Hope you guys are doing great though. Welcome to another kind of uneventful day <laughs> in this vlog, but yeah. Hello. It's Thursday. So the plan was initially that myself, my mom, and also my brother, we were gonna go have like a uh, dinner at this street food market that's nearby. I haven't gone for ages um, because restrictions were lifted. And then, you know, before that, I just kind of didn't want to go because it's whatever, it's fine. But then it started snowing <laughs> and they were like, we'd rather just, can we just stay at your apartment? Do we have to go? Do we have to go out into the snow? Can't we just stay at your apartment? I would have gone anyway, straight up, would have gone, but we stayed at my apartment, so I didn't get any footage of it. We did give her, because it's her birthday tomorrow, so we gave her like eight books. She got two Agatha Christie books. Also, Stephen Fry's Troy and Mythos. Mythos? Mythos. How do you pronounce that? She got, what's it called? Crime and Punishment. She also got an Edgar Allan Poe book. I forgot the title and I think that is it. Oh yeah, she got this big, you know, the uh, Barnes and Nobles collections that they have, the big leather bound books. She got one with five <laughs> Charles Dickens novels in it. So she has a lot of reading to do, but I thought maybe it would be kind of relevant because hello, books. <laughs> so I still, I have another book that I've ordered for her that hasn't arrived yet and won't arrive for a little while, but there's another book for her. So she's gonna have lots of reading. She's getting retired soon. So she's gonna have lots of reading to do once once she gets there. But anyway, I'm hanging out on the floor right now because first of all, reading update. I finished Tower of Dawn earlier today. I actually really enjoyed this, which I was not expecting to say because Kale. <laughs> But I actually, I actually didn't mind him in this book. I understand him a little bit better. I think it was important for me to read more from his point of view and like, how do you say this without any spoilers? He's just easier to understand after Tower of Dawn. I still miss the other group. So I'm gonna both fear going into Kingdom of Ash. If you've read the books, you'll know why. But also I feel like I'm gonna be emotionally broken <laughs> basically, but I also, I'm looking forward to going back to seeing the other group of people because this does take place in a different part of the world. I'm sorry, my my light, my fairy lights are falling down, so now they're good. But it was still lovely. I st I don't know what it is with Sarah J. Mass's writing, but it just really works for me. I vibe with it. So she could write about the character that I dislike the most. The only character that I actually dislike. I wouldn't say that I dislike him anymore. But before going into this one, I definitely did. She could still write a whole book basically about him and like what he's doing in the world at the moment. And I'll still enjoy it. I feel like that says a lot. So yeah, also tapped it, it's tapped it a lot. It's fine. If you want an annotation video, by the way, let me know. Cause I can explain what I do, but it's not like I started like a month ago. So it's not like I'm an expert at annotating at all. I just annotate basically everything that I feel. Like if my gut is telling me, mark this, I do it. <laughs> There's not much thought put into it. Anyway, so next up is 
Kingdom of Ash. I'm so, so scared. I am so scared. Why am I wearing makeup today? I know that I'm gonna cry. But also, also, oh, there was a pair of scissors on top of that and I forgot, ow. Okay, I might have just sliced my foot open. It's fine, whatever. But I also got an Amazon package today, so you know. I know what's in this and I'm excited. <laughs> Speaking of Sarah J Mass, I feel like this says it all. I was, I think I said this. I think I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I must have said this. I'm not sure if I did it on stream or in a video. I just know that I've told someone. <laughs> but just in case I haven't said it on or in this video yet. I had a moment of panic because I own House of Earth and Blood in the US version. I live in Denmark, so if you go to the, the bookstores here, they mostly at least have the UK versions and I want the two books to match. So I went on Book Depository to buy the US version like three months ago, but they canceled, they canceled my order two days after the book came out or the day after, no, the day after the book came out, they canceled and refunded it. And then two days later, it was back in stock. So I was like, what in the world? But what happened anyway? On that Wednesday, because the book came out on a Tuesday. I was like, they cannot just re, re, like they cannot just cancel it. I need this book. How am I gonna, everyone's gonna spoil it for me. I just want this book. So, so I went on Amazon and I got the, the UK version. I got the UK version. Yeah, so now I have it at least, but it's the UK version. The spines don't match, which is super annoying. Anywho, that was Wednesday. I ordered this Wednesday. So Friday, I got a notification that House of Earth and Blood US version was back in stock on Book Depository. And I was like, Book Depository, I wrote them actually. I wrote them, hey, I see that House of Earth and, House of Sky and Breath, sorry, House of Sky and Breath. I saw that House of Sky and Breath is back in stock, but you canceled my pre-order two days ago. And now it's a lot pricier because pre-orders are really cheap. If you buy them on Book Depository, it's like at a set price. Whereas it, they kind of skyrocket a little bit when the books come out, just at the start at least. So I was like, if I have to reorder it now, it'll cost me like almost double the price. And I added, I would have rather you just didn't cancel my pre-order and I could have waited a couple of days, like that would have been fine. So they wrote me back that they had gotten like an emergency stock basically, or they could have gotten it from elsewhere, not the original stock. And they said that they'd refund the difference in the price so I could still purchase it. So they sent me the difference, which means that I now also have the US version on its way here. I know that's a little overkill, but <laughs> This is mainly to just avoid spoilers. And by the time when Friday came around and I'd reordered the US version of Book Depository, which won't be here for like a month, by the way, it was too late to cancel this order as well, the Amazon order. So now I'm just kind of, now I just kind of have both. I don't know if that made any sense. I feel like I lost myself five times in that explanation, but hopefully it made <laughs> some sort of sense. My point is the US version is on its way. I'm going to have two House of Sky and Breath, but that's okay because Hunt is beautiful. So that's fine. But now I can read it in March. And I'm so excited about that because I don't want to get spoiled. People are ruthless, okay, ruthless. And then I also, well, that's dirty. Oh, the spine is green. Why is it green? I thought it would be orange. I solely bought this right now because I thought the spine would be orange, but this is People We Meet On Vacation by Emily Henry. Yes, Emily Henry. The spine is green. I thought it would be orange. Oh well. I know that's a random reason, but I'm kind of like, when it comes to adult contemporary romances, I don't really look into the synopsis that much. <laughs> so I was just like, let's just go for the orange one because I'm missing an orange book on my shelf. But the spine is green. <laughs> It's fine. I'm gonna enjoy this read nonetheless. This looks like an awesome summer read. So yes, that's gonna be a good thing. But yeah, two new books and almost done with Throne of Glass. So, oh gosh. But what I'm gonna be doing now for the rest of the day, I'm gonna finish up a build that is for my other channel. And then I'm gonna probably record a TBR video for this channel. So that's my plan at least. We'll see if it works out. But yeah, kind of, kind of interested in doing a reading vlog on this book. If you want one, let me know. Cause I'd be in, yeah, I'd, I'd do that. I know you've probably watched like 10 of them already from other YouTubers, but if you want one from me, let me know. <laughs> I know that I'm gonna cry. Sarah J Mass breaks me every time. Why do I read her books? I feel miserable reading them. Why is that a thing? I'm gonna stop myself and just go work so that I can go read Kingdom of Ash and be broken. You see the cycle here? Anyway, I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna go, but new books. Okay, just one last note though. <laughs> just one last note. Just to explain how excited I am for House of Sky and Breath. They didn't have it at the store, the physical store, last week. So when we went there today to buy my mom her birthday presents, they actually had this one standing on the shelves and I saw it and literally gasped, gasped, yes, out loud for everyone to hear. I was like, <gasps> standing next to my brother like, <gasps> and just went like, oh my god, they have it, they have it. He was like, what's going on? And I'm like, it's House of Sky and Breath. I'm fine. 
<laughs> anyway, I'm just so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go. Kingdom of Ash, TBR, let's go. So I finished recording my March TBR, but now I have like a stack of books. <laughs> also, wait, hold on a minute. Dobby fell over, oh no. <laughs> He's lying so derpy on the ground, it's fine. So before I can actually go read Kingdom of Ash, which is still lying next to me on my table. She's just ca casually lying here reminding me that I haven't started reading it yet and I really need to read it. So before I can do that, I'm gonna put my books back in their spots and then it's time to get started. I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous, but also excited. It's a whole thing, like how are you both at the same time? I don't get it. I'm so excited though, so excited. <laughs> covering up unmatching spines with both Dumbo's ear and also bookmarks. <laughs> Definitely not me. <laughs> Don't tell me that this is not annoying. Hold on. Don't tell me that that's not annoying. Like that is super annoying. <laughs> the weird thing as well is that the front covers are literally the same. So why would the spines be different? I don't understand. Why did they make the spines different? When the front covers are literally identical. I don't get that. Anyway, it's fine. It's the, it's the inside that counts. Yes, I know. Ow. <laughs> anyway, it's Sunday. I have not, hold on. I'm in the middle of making soup. I'll explain what's been going on. There's not much been going on. Why are you so close? Okay, but I'm in the middle of making dinner. However, it's Sunday, it's the last. I might actually extend this to just include tomorrow as well. I'm undecided. But I wanted to tune in and say hi, also because it's Sunday, so it's supposed to be the last day of this vlog. But we'll see if I include it or include tomorrow as well. However, I'm in the middle of making delicious curry soup. It's boiling a little bit too much. But also, you can't see me. I look like some creepy looming figure in the dark right now. That's fine. But my point is, okay, I'm almost done reading Kingdom of Ash. I'm gonna tell you about it. But first, I'm gonna go get some soup because I'm really hungry. This is a lot though. This is a whole lot. <laughs> okay, so I'm back with my soup. It's right here. Yes. <laughs> Delicious. Way too warm to eat right now. But also, I've missed vlogging the last two days. I have been reading a lot of Kingdom of Ash though. I'm missing 55 pages, which... <laughs> I'm not ready to read them yet because I don't want this book to be over. But Friday, I decided not to vlog because I just needed a day. Like, I still streamed in the evening, but I was so tired throughout the day that I just needed to not do much other than streaming. And then Saturday, sleep deprivation really hit. And it's been the same today. Like, I feel like I'm in my deposits of energy right now. <laughs> I don't know if that's making any sense. I promise I'll do my best to sleep tonight. I promise. I'll do my best. It's got nothing to do with reading, by the way. It's just me not being able to sleep. It's a whole thing. But I wanted to talk about Kingdom of Ash. I know as well, just a little note, that this has not been the most eventful reading vlog. I realize that. I reckon that. But also, it's just fun to do, like, ranty, chatty vlogs now and then as well, right? So... But speaking of Kingdom of Ash, okay, so like I said, not ready to read the last 55 pages of this. I'm just not ready for it to be over. This book, I feel like more or less has made me tear up twice. Like one time I felt a little like it was about to roll down my cheek kind of tear rub, which is as close as I'll get to sobbing over a book. So that's happened twice and then has made my eyes wet several times. This is a lot. This book is out to break me. I don't know what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna react once I'm done reading. 55 pages left. I don't know what to do. So <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it be for now. We'll read it later today. But I'm a little bit scared. The series is everything though. I don't know how to... Spoiler free, like I said at the start of the video. I just don't know how to 
This series feels like perfection in the way that it went from one thing turning into something else. It also, like story-wise, it also, it has a lot of elements in it. It has a lot of just loving character or lovable characters. It has, it has so much. Just lovable characters, vibes, romance, action, just there's so much. And it also kind of goes from like young adult to something a little bit more new adult. But to me that also makes sense because I think the first book came out and like went- hold on, I can check. My computer's on right now. You can probably hear it in the background. The first book came out in 2012 and that was young adult. And then around Empire Storms, it turns into something a little bit more new adult. So I feel like the series also, like they kind of knew that the audience who read the first four books were maturing themselves so it felt- it feels natural. I've seen other series do the same where they start out kind of like a little bit lighter and then it turns into something darker. For example, I'm not saying that's what happened in this- in this series. I would say it's pretty dark throughout the whole thing but anyway. So I've enjoyed seeing that as well because I stopped reading- I've read the first four so that's including Queen of Shadows. I stopped reading before I got to Empire Storms. So I didn't get to see it kind of develop into this new adult that's a little bit more, just a little bit more mature, a little bit more adult. So that's been really, really nice as well. Plus I think it, it fits Sarah J Maas better as a writer too. It just, she, she does it well. She does it very, very well. But yeah, I'm so happy that I'm almost done with the series, but at the same time, I don't want to be done with the series. It's a problem. So I'm gonna drag this out for the day. I'm gonna do some editing. First of all, I'm gonna eat, but then I'm gonna do some editing, prepare my journal for March as well, and then later today I'm gonna go lie on the couch and sop my eyes out. <laughs> I- this is gonna- ugh. It's a lot. Like, it's a lot. It's also 900 980 pages, so like, and after so many books, this is the eighth book, no wonder you get, you know, attached to these characters and you feel their feelings and stuff, because that's a long time to be with the same characters, so anyway, yeah. I'm also a little bit scared that a reading slump is gonna hit me after, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna push through it and just ignore it <laughs> if anything happens, I'm just gonna ignore it. It just- you know those series- I'm- okay. You know those series or books where you're just like, you read them and you feel so many things and you go search for those feelings from other books as well? This is one of- this is one of those series. So, Aquatar, the same. Like, it's a good thing I have House of Sky and Breath waiting for me for March, but like- And also A Shadow in the Ember, because those books also make me feel things. <laughs> I just want to feel things, apparently. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it's been a good time, but Sunday's not over. The book is not over yet. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. I'm gonna have my food first. I'm starving. But also, wait, hold on. So I've actually been thinking about doing a reorganization video for my bookcases because I've had them basically organized like this for I don't even know how long. I think months by now. So I kind of want to see if I can figure out a new way to sort everything, maybe a new color scheme or just, I don't know, some way to sort the books. So if you have any ideas, let me know. I mean, I have some myself, but if you have any ideas, let me know. So, so far, I think it's mainly just like color scheme wise, not like, like we got over here. This is my sort of sci-fi shelf. There's a couple that aren't sci-fi also with this one and this one, but you see there's a color scheme, right? We got some blue, purple, orange. They kind of go together in a way. Same up here. It's very like darker colors with some gold and silver fonts as well. So there's kind of like a color scheme going on, but I think the mo the one that's clearest is probably this shelf. <laughs> and also this shelf. This shelf is cool. It's like red, white, black, kind of, yeah. But I don't know. I like it like this, but I also want to see something else. So I might, I might do a reorganization. Thing. This camera's getting heavy. I'm gonna put it down, eat my food. I'll tune in in a little bit. <laughs> so it's a little while later. I've had my dinner. I have uploaded my video for the day. I can't avoid this any longer. I was literally just sitting, staring at my screen, not doing anything, and I hate that. But also, I don't want to finish it, but also I have to. It's terrible. Like, I want to know what happens with the characters, but I also don't want the series to end. How is- anyway, I'm gonna need to, like, get a bunch of Throne of Glass merch- merch after this. I don't know. 
I just, I'm not ready, but also I have to. I can't leave this any longer. So I'm gonna go on my couch and get through the last of it. I'm probably gonna have a very hard time. So yes, let's go. Let's do this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a whole week to recover from this, okay? A whole week. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. This is this is bad. This is really bad. I gotta fix this though, because it's a lot. I don't like it, so that's what I'm gonna do first. But hold on. So I know that Sarah J. Mass is not for everyone. For some reason, her reading just kind of vibes with me. Like, I don't know if it's her world building or if it's character chemistry, relationships. There's just something, something about the way that she writes that just, my hair looks like a mess. It's fine, I just realized, but like state of my mind too, it's okay. <laughs> but it just, it just does something when you're reading it. I always get so sucked into her books. Like they're the only ones that I've really full on binged. So like I will make sure to find as many hours throughout my day to read as possible. They're the only, hers are the only books where I do that. Well, also from Blood and Ash. I'm sorry, this probably seemed very <laughs> threatening. But also from Blood and Ash. Same situation, but that's because their chemistry is just amazing too. I won't say, while from Blood and Ash is a fantasy romance, I won't say Throne of Glasses because it definitely focuses more, sure, there's romance, there's multiple romances, but it definitely focuses more on plot like not the romance plot, but what's happening in the world instead. So I wouldn't call it a fantasy romance, but there's definitely romance in it. Also, if you aren't aware, if you've read Echo Tar and you aren't aware, Throne of Glass is not like on the same amount of smuttiness as Echo Tar is. It's a, it's a little bit cleaner. Echo Tar is definitely leaning on fantasy romance, but not full on fantasy romance. This is like what I would call, I feel like it's nearing high fantasy. Yeah, nearing it, but like a, a lighter version of high fantasy, but without just being fantasy. I don't know, it's kind of difficult to explain, but if you've read the series, you probably know what I mean. It just is so good. So this is what I'm doing. I'm cutting them down with my scissors. I know you can get ones that are completely squared or, you know, like this, but I just, I have a mixed pack, so now I just cut them down. I it, They're easy to cut down on paperbacks, so I use the ones that are actually like, like this, when you buy them, I use those on hardbacks. But anyway, from now, I actually think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog today. I was going to do it tomorrow instead, although it's Monday, but I don't really know what to read. No, it's not a reading slump. I just need, like, whatever I pick up tonight or tomorrow, I won't be able to get, like, super far into it before I have to wrap up this vlog anyway. So I'll wrap this up today. Maybe I'll do another reading vlog next week and then push the Truly Devious spoilery vlog for the week after. I don't know, it's undecided, but I might do that. <laughs> All I know is I need to not read another eight book series right away because I get so sucked in and I don't even know what to do with myself at this moment. Honestly, I think I'm gonna do this and then probably play some Witcher 3 just to, I don't know. <laughs> fix my mindset. Do you guys ever get like that when you read? Like, so sucked into it that you don't really... What's happening in the world? Okay, I know what's happening in the world, but like, you know what I mean. So what I need right now is just to forget a little bit. I need to dwell on this a little bit too. I need to make some, uh, or write some notes as well for my reading wrap up that I'm probably gonna record tomorrow or Tuesday. And I'm gonna recover from the amazingness that is Throne of Glass. So I'm so happy that I finally finished the series. I'm pretty sure I said this earlier this week as well after I finished Empire Storms, but I'm so happy that I did not read that back in 2016. I am so happy because I don't think I could have waited until both Tower and Dawn was released in 2017, but also definitely not until Kingdom of Ash was released in 2018. I think I would have, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't think I would have been able to function. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. So that's what I'm gonna do. And there we go, much better. I tabbed this so much. 
Anyway, I think my prop the problem lies in that I'm not equipped to like fictional characters this much. I think that's where the problem is. I just thought about it while I was finishing up this. I think that's where the problem is. I get too attached. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna take some notes. We're gonna talk about the series a little bit more in the monthly reading wrap up that'll hopefully be up this week as well, towards the weekend. So, so yeah, I feel a little bit, I don't know how to, I just feel a little bit. And I'm gonna need a, a distraction before I have a meltdown, but anyway regardless i hope that you all enjoyed this vlog if you've read the series uh let me know what you thought about it if there's anything else that you're reading right now let me know too if there are any books that make you feel the way that i described let me know as well i'd love to see if those same books makes me feel make me feel that way too but as for now i'm gonna wrap up this vlog so i hope you all enjoyed it if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stick around, talk about books with me, everyone in the comments. If you like this video, if you like book content, consider hitting the subscribe button. But that's it. I'm gonna go be solemn while playing The Witcher 3 <laughs> and um, reassess my life situation and possibly miss characters, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, so I hope you all enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!